Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling super super festive because all of my Cambridge friends are coming to London this weekend. Well actually they've just arrived, they're already here and I'm running late and I need to go meet them because we're headed to Winter Wonderland in London. For those of you that don't know, Winter Wonderland is based in Hyde Park. It's essentially a huge Christmas event that's filled with rides, food stores, an ice skating rink, um, Christmas music, a Bavarian village. Um, Christmas markets and stores, if I haven't already said that, I've kind of lost count, but it's it's huge. It's literally massive. You can spend hours there and we have decided to all go together as a group this year and celebrate Christmas. I'm getting in the festive swing. I can't believe we're at December already. This has honestly been the fastest year of my life. I think that is because I'm having the best time of my life and they do say that time flies when you're having fun, but 2023 has been a good one, touch wood, not to jinx it because we are in the last month, still one more month to go but I am living my, my best life. It's It's been a really, really great year and I'm feeling very, very blessed and thankful for all of the wonderful people in my life who have really made it this year, the year that it's been. But I'm, yeah, just overjoyed and feeling festive and I can't wait to get out there. I haven't done any Christmas markets yet and that's kind of surprised me because normally when it hits like the 1st of November, yes, November, not December, I have the Christmas tunes on, I'm ready to go. I love Christmas, it's just the best time of the year. But for some reason this year I just haven't been feeling all that festive and finally we've hit December and now I'm actually starting to feel it a little bit. I think it's just that my life has been really fast paced at the minute and I've had so many plans and I haven't really had five minutes to stop and think. I've been changing jobs a lot at work as part of my grad scheme, meeting lots of new people and doing lots of new things all the time. So yeah, just haven't had the time to get in the festive swing. But finally all of my Christmas plans are kicking off this week and I've got a very, very busy two weeks lined up before I go home for Christmas. And hopefully I'll get to capture some of that and share it with you guys. Are you excited? Yeah! What are you most excited for? I don't know, beer, um, raclette, <laughs> cheese, fondue, raclette, fondue. cheese, yeah, I think I'm excited for Mac Daddy. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I think for me it's gonna be all churros, Mac Daddy, Bailey's hot chocolate, all of the good stuff. Jesse shoved some really hot cheese in his mouth. What did you go for? I went for the verbier. The so this is melted, melted potatoes, a bit of veg, and then a, a sausage. You can pretty much look you can delish. Get into the Alps. <laughs> Very festive. It's lovely. like them. I knew you wouldn't like them. I don't like I told them. you not to buy them. I like them. They taste like potato. Alright, everyone else can have them. Then. Very tasty.
What a fantastic evening. For some reason, that went by so quickly. So we arrived at 5.30 and Will, Paige and I were on time and we got straight into the queue. Well, our entry slot was six o'clock and we only had to wait half an hour, which as things go is not bad because we decided to go to Winter Wonderland on the first Saturday of December, which is probably one of the busiest weekends to go. Like Saturday, everyone's off work and it's obviously just turned December, so everyone's feeling festive. But I don't think that was that bad. Ed and Tim were a little bit later, so we decided to head in without them and have a little bit of an explore, which is a good job we did because they turned up quite a bit later than us. But we made the most of it and we actually stayed till close at around 10 o'clock. And honestly, we just did so much. We decided not to do any of the rides or anything because you've got to pay extra for those. We didn't buy any of the extra, like, I think there was a circus, the, the Bavarian beer hall, um, you could buy like extra fondue and things and we decided not to do that because there are literally so many food stores it doesn't seem worth it to do that. And then I was just straight there for the mac and cheese, I knew that's what I wanted. I get it every year I go, it's just so good, it's such a winter food because it's so warm and cheesy and wholesome and filling so made a beeline for that and then shared some churros with Paige which were equally delicious, treated ourselves to hot chocolates as you've seen. I really wish I'd saved myself because I would have quite liked marshmallows and strawberries covered in chocolate but didn't quite have room but you know not to worry it's still December I've still got time yet before I go home I might visit some more Christmas markets they do have some in Trafalgar Square, Leicester Square, South Bank so we'll try and squeeze another Christmas market trip in but my calendar's just looking so busy so I don't know when I'll make time for it but honestly had the best time ever I love my friends so much like I'm so grateful to have them my heart just feels so full right now I'm on cloud nine I love spending time with those guys just feel so comfortable and happy around them and it's so nice to get a chance to be back together as I was going to say a big group it obviously wasn't all of us but half the group back together and doing some festive things because Spending time with friends and enjoying Christmas are like my two favourite things to do, so put them together and it just makes for the most perfect night. And then did a little power walk to a different tube station because Hyde Park Corner, which is right next to the park, was just heaving and I did not fancy waiting in like a 30 minute queue just to get underground, never mind to even get on the tube. But yeah, feeling, feeling, feeling very, very good. I'm going to get this makeup off, climb into bed. I think tomorrow will be a chill one because my week next week, I think... I am fully booked every single evening and weekend until I go home, actually. I think the only day I don't have plans on next week is either Tuesday or Wednesday, which is just insane. I hope I don't burn out, but I think I'm just trying to maximise and really make the most of Christmas and being around people, and I'm feeling very extroverted at the minute, so enjoying that. But yeah, it's going to be a busy two weeks, so buckle up to come with me on my, my holiday countdown, I guess. And just like that, the weekend is over. We are straight into the working week. I have had the busiest morning, back-to-back -back calls, so many emails to check through. Even managed to squeeze in the gym at lunch. I don't know how I managed it. I washed and dried my hair. It's a miracle. I honestly don't know how. And ran to my favourite bakery to continue the Christmas joy because they've released their Christmas range of snacks and desserts. And this is literally my favourite bakery and my favourite Christmas dessert from this bakery. If any of you watched my vlogs last year, you might recognise this. Uh, for those of you that do not know what I'm talking about, I decided to treat myself to a Christmas pudding rum truffle. I'll see if I can get it to focus. Now, I'm not a big rum truffle fan, but these are just so delicious. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's such like a moist, fudgy cake underneath probably because of the rum um has this cutest christmas pudding design on it and i cannot wait to tuck it in and i after i went to the gym i just knew i wanted to head out and treat myself because i was worried i was going to go home for christmas and not get to try one before i came back so i ran out to grab that i'm also out straight after work we're doing a pub quiz i don't know if it's christmas themed it would be good if it was christmas themed because we're in the festive spirits and I'm continuing all of my Christmas festivities this week. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at at the minute. And I should probably get back to work because I've got a call in 10 minutes time and I've stopped to chat to you guys and I want to take a bite of this rum truffle before we get into more meetings and more craziness. Guys, look at this delicious soup I've made. I made it a while ago and froze it and I've just defrosted it and forgot how good it was. It's kind of like a minestrone soup. I did have it with gnocchi last time, but this time I've put fusilli, fusilli, however you pronounce it, in there um, because that's the only pasta I had in. It's got like carrots, courgettes, tomatoes, celery, onions, I think, fresh thyme, 
Oh, I forgot it's also got beans in there. So it's got, um, I think, pinto beans, is that right? Or cannelli beans? You know what, I'm butchering all of these pronunciations. And red beans or kidney beans or something. I don't know, I made it a while ago, but perfect weather for soup at the minute. So I'm going to really enjoy this for dinner. Right, that's me pub ready. Wish me luck. I hope we win. I need to quickly go and get some cash out because you need a pound to enter and like, who has cash these days? But um, yeah, not looking forward to the 30 minute walk there, but I'm sure I'll warm up on the way. And yeah, I think here's hoping we win. What a busy day at work. I'm finally sitting down and warming myself with a cup of tea because it is pretty miserable out there. It's quite rainy, walked back in the rain, but at least I got some fresh air. I have been sat at my desk for most of the day, but it was a good one, another good day. Very busy, chatted to lots of people, lots of meetings, but the real reason I've hopped on to speak to you is because it's Christmas week at work and they've got all sorts of festivities and events and freebies in the office. So that was super exciting. So I ended up meeting up with a couple of fellow graduates at lunch and we headed over to our central campus building where they had lots of little market stalls laid out and they were handing out like nibbles, mince pies, crisps, a couple of, couple of little glasses of alcohol if you don't mind, um, like, like chocolate liqueur or like mulled wine, things like that, festive stuff, um, handing out free chocolate lint teddy bears. Actually, where did I put mine? Let me grab it. This guy, he's literally like the size of my head. Like how cute is he with his little little bow on um, and a couple of other like free bits and bobs, lots of chocolatey stuff. Like, you know, there's toff toffee feed chocolates. If anyone in the UK knows what I mean, comma blow. They're really tasty. What else? Just like, oh, panettone as well. Like just like, as I said, lots of Christmassy things. So that was really nice. They had a choir or, is it choir? Like a choir, like a group. Um, busking outside, singing Christmas carols, that was really sweet. And then I somehow managed to fill up yet another evening in my diary, like the amount I'm having to myself recently is just dwindling. So I've now booked to go ice skating with other graduates next Friday as part of like a work organized event for us to all get together and have a little bit of fun. I'm not the biggest fan of ice skating because I'm not very good at it, but I value friend time so I'm sure they will help me. I might need to cling to somebody or cling to the wall but again trying to get in the festive spirit and it's at Alexandra Palace which isn't that far from where I am and they will it's called a Christmas disco night so they must be playing a bunch of Christmas tunes and have flashing lights and it, it sounds fun it sounds better than your average ice skating so I'm thoroughly looking forward to it even if I can't skate. I am back in after a very long but very productive day in the office but I don't actually have that long to talk because I'm about to dash out to my friend James's birthday dinner at a lovely pizza restaurant near me. I'm very much looking forward to going to it. It's the same one I went to when my parents visited. It's known for being a super super good pizza restaurant. It's quite famous in North London apparently. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, last time I went to the truffle tortellini but I think I'm gonna have to try the pizza this time because they have a proper wood fire oven and I think it's sourdough so yeah I, I need to try it that's on the agenda but yeah I'm already running a little bit late I'm gonna walk there or bus there now we'll see because it's, it's raining outside so um yeah that's my plan for this evening and then Friday tomorrow so made it to the end of the week I know I said last night I was gonna get pizza when I went to the pizza restaurant, but I looked at the menu and as soon as I saw the spinach and ricotta tortellini, 
I knew that was what I had to go for and I was really in the mood for something quite rich and creamy with it being a very cold and rainy night I just wanted something super hearty and warming and I wasn't really in the mood for pizza so I'm still yet to try pizza at that restaurant but maybe next time but I really enjoyed my pasta it was really nice seeing all of my work friends friends that I've actually known for like three years now so kind of crazy that we're well they're not graduates anymore obviously I've stayed on a different graduate scheme but they've all like rolled off into permanent positions so really nice to catch up with everybody and to see the birthday boy himself and then I had a bit of an early night didn't stay out for drinks because I have so much going on as I've already said you might be wondering why I'm sat on the floor that's because I need to wrap my secret Santa present because I'm off to Cambridge tomorrow we're doing Bridgemas dinner or Cambridge Christmas if any of you don't know what that means um and yeah we'll be cooking a, a full a full Christmas dinner together all how many of us? Nine of us? Ten of us? I think there are ten of us in the house, so that'll be really lovely. We do Secret Santa every year, and I need to wrap mine before I get there, but I just don't know when I'm going to make time for it, because I have so many things back to back, and I need to get a train first thing tomorrow morning and be there super early. So I've decided to, to do it now. It's like half eight or something, so work's about to start, but I have a little bit of time now before it kicks off. My 9am meeting got cancelled. Thank goodness. No one wants to do a 9am on a Friday. But I'm going to crack on and wrap this up because I'm very pressed for time today. I'm also out at a black tie event tonight as a plus one with one of my friends. So I need to somehow find time to shower in my lunch break, do my hair and makeup and get into central London. And then yeah, Bridgemas tomorrow and ice skating in Cambridge. Which I don't know if that'll be in this vlog or the next one. I'll have to have a look at the footage and see how long this already is because it feels like it's mounting up already. Anyway, I need to wrap. That explains why I'm on the floor. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Santa wrapping all done and I managed to repurpose this cute little bow off a lint teddy bear with this cute little heart charm on it and I made my own tag for the name tag. I did try multiple other ribbons and pieces of string but they just didn't work as well because of the size and shape of this present. But this works alright I think. Good little hack if you've got random ribbons or lint chocolate teddy bears hanging about. Use them to wrap your presents. Work is done, that's Friday over and out, and I'm about to start getting ready for this black tie event that I'm going to tonight. I'm feeling super excited about it. As you can see, I've already curled my hair. It's feeling festive. I've got a green velvet dress, which I'll show you later. I've got some of my jewelry already on because I always leave jewelry to the last minute and then everything's tangled and I'm rushing out the door and then I don't get a chance to put it on. So I made sure that I've put my jewellery on already, detangled all of my necklaces and everything I wanted to wear. And I just thought, put them on now. So it's your last, you know, it, it it's not left to the last minute and you don't forget to do it. Um, yeah, just logged out of work thinking of doing a sort of soft glam subtle smoky eye look don't want to go over the top but still want a bit of glitz and glam because it is a black tie event and it is a christmas event and yeah i don't really know what to expect they're obviously not my work colleagues it's not my work event so a little bit nervous about meeting people but i can't say no when it's free and it's with a friend and it's christmas and it's black tie if i haven't already said that enough um yeah so i'm gonna get ready i've left myself plenty of time so i can actually enjoy the process because it's not often that i get to do a very glamorous makeup look so i'm really looking forward to it tonight
Unfortunately, this is the only mirror I have, so you're not going to be able to see the dress too well. The lighting in here isn't great. This dress is green, it looks black in this light, and it's velvet, as I've said. But um, this is the full look. It is a um, green velvet maxi dress, and there is ooh, a, little, <laughs> a little slit in the dress. All glammed up and ready for this black tie event. I feel very Christmassy, very festive, very fancy. It's so nice to be wearing green and velvet. Definitely right for the time of year. I did a little bit of a soft glam eye makeup look, so I do feel sparkly, <laughs> if that's the right word for it. And I'm very excited to head out. I left myself plenty of time, so I don't feel rushed and I'm ready on time for once, which is great because now I can just chill and relax, like make my way there in a very leisurely fashion. Though I say that I'll probably like overestimate how much time I have yeah overestimate how much time I have and then end up leaving late and then being stressed and panicked and trying to get there but hopefully I won't do that <laughs> and I'm um, looking forward to what's in store I really know nothing about the event all I've been told is it's black tie I don't know if it's like canapes and drinks if it's dinner if it's sit down dinner if it's buffet style if it well not buffet style but you know what I mean um like not not so like five course sit down literally don't know anything um music disco dancing who knows what's in store will has told me nothing so i guess i'll just find out when i get there and here's to a good night much fun last night i'm so glad will invited me as his plus one to his work christmas party it was very nice to meet lots of new people speak to his colleagues and his friends and yeah it was just it was such a nice place with amazing panoramic skyline views of london so you could see the shard and tower bridge and they were all lit up and sparkling which was really nice to see very festive and then um they met us with champagne at the doors and that was topped up all night and then they were bringing around lots of little canapes, things like um, prawns and um, like little hummus, like tartlets or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Well, they were the veg. Well, that was a veggie option that I could eat. And then they had like turkey and cranberry tarts as well, beef tartar, very fancy. Um, obviously, I didn't have any of those. And then they started bringing around like little bowls with um i had the truffle risotto that was really good the truffle croquettes were really really tasty as well definitely a highlight of the night um like truffle truffle mushroom and cheese and i also had another one but i can't remember what it was and then little desserts so little brownies and lemon meringue i think um and then we danced, they had Christmas songs on and pop music, and it was just all around a good night. Managed to get home at a reasonable time, had a good sleep, and somehow managed to drag myself out of bed this morning and get showered because I'm off to Cambridge. And I think that'll be in the next vlog, not this one, because this is quite long now, but um, off to Cambridge for Christmas dinner. So you're going to be seeing me very shortly in the same sort of time frame, but in the next vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this week of festive celebrations and... Yeah, what has been a very, very busy week in my life. I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends, but, you know, I'm young and in London and that's what it's all about. And I'm going to be going home for Christmas in less less than two weeks now, 10 days, less than that, nearly a week. In fact, no, a week on Sunday, I'll be going home for Christmas so I can recover, rest, nap and re-energise then. But for now, I'm just soaking it all up, making sure I have the best time ever. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season, whatever you celebrate. And thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Bye.